Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Nginx reverse proxy on Windows Server running on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. So for that, simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements and also choose the disk space according to your requirements as well. And then you can scroll down and leave the network settings as default, accept the agreement and click on deploy. And then you would have to wait for the deployment process to complete. After the deployment is done, the next step is to actually create a firewall rule so that we can RDP connect to our virtual machine. For that simply click on this hamburger icon and then choose compute engine. And then from this page you have this option that says setup firewall rules, click on it. And then click on this button that says create a firewall rule. And then you are going to simply create a firewall rule. You can name it anything that you want so I am just simply going to name it as port 3389. Basically we want to enable the port 3389 which is the port used for RDP connections. And then you are going to scroll down under the targets. You are going to set the target tag as port 3389. This is the target tag that we are going to provide to our newly created virtual machine. And then you are going to click on this protocols and ports and choose TCP and pass in the port number as 3389. You also want to provide this IPv4 ranges. So type in 0.0.0.0 and then a forward slash 0. After that, you can simply click on create to create that rule. Once you have created that rule, you want to apply a tag to our newly created virtual machine. For that, click on this hamburger icon and choose compute engine. And then from this list, you want to click on the name of your virtual machine. And then you want to click on edit. And then from this edit page, you're going to scroll down to network tags. And then you're going to add in the tag as port 3389 and hit enter. After that, what you want to do is that you want to click on this save button. After applying the tag, simply click on this hamburger icon and choose compute engine. And then from this list, simply click on this arrowhead right next to RDP. Now we are going to connect to our virtual machine using a remote desktop connection. So click on the arrowhead and click on set windows password. And then you are going to provide yourself an administrator user account or username. And after that, you are simply going to click on set. And then it is going to process for a few moments and then provide you with a password for this user account. Once you get the password, simply store it inside a secure file. After that, simply open up windows and type in remote desktop connection. And in here, you're simply going to pass in the IP address of your virtual machine. And you're going to simply click on show options, set the username as CIS admin or the username that you selected and click on connect. And then you would be prompted to type in your password. So type in the password and then click on OK. After that, it is going to prompt you that you are trying to connect to a remote virtual host. So click on yes and wait for the connection to be established. And also, once the connection is established, you need to wait for the Windows Server to completely load. Once the Windows Server has completely loaded, you want to open up a file explorer. Click on this PC and head inside the C drive. And in this drive, you can see this folder named as nginx. Now you want to open up a command prompt within this nginx folder so that we can start our nginx service. For that, click this URL and type in cmd. Now this is going to open up the command prompt within this directory. Now within this command prompt, you are going to type in the command start space nginx.exe and then hit enter. Now this is going to start the nginx service. We also want to verify the running of this service. For that, simply open up an internet explorer and you want to type in the URL as http colon forward slash forward slash localhost and the port number 80 and then hit enter. Now you will get this welcome to nginx web page. This means that our nginx is successfully deployed. Now to set up a reverse proxy, head back to the nginx folder and then head inside the configuration folder. Right click on this file that says nginx.conf and then click on open with and then Click on try an app on this PC and choose notepad and click OK. 
Now this is going to open up the configuration file in the notepad. Now in this configuration file, you want to scroll down to server tag. And as you can see that we are currently listening to localhost at port number 80. Now to set up our reverse proxy, we want to listen to port number 8080 at localhost and we want to redirect that user to google.com. So simply change this listen tag from 80 to 8080 and then you are simply going to remove the lines under this location tag. Because under this location tag, we want to copy this proxy pass line and paste it over here. And then we are going to simply modify this URL to www.google.com. Save this file and exit. And then head back to the command prompt because we want to restart the service of nginx. But before that, we also want to check the syntax of configuration file. So simply type in the command as nginx.exe space hyphen t. And it says that the syntax is ok. Now we can restart the service of nginx by typing in the command start space nginx.exe. After that, we can verify our reverse proxy by heading to the Internet Explorer and typing in the URL as localhost and the port number 8080 and then hit enter. Now as you can see that we have been proxied to google.com. Now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Nginx on Windows Server. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.